I have done this climb and seen it a lot of times and I feel like, do you know Francis on the uh, the train guy? I feel like I, I wish I could have like a reaction cam on my eyes because of when I see all the road. I remember the first time I ever saw it, I actually had a little tear. I was, oh, it's so good. Look at that. Oh my God. Every single time I just feel giddy. I've just seen a road. I don't know how, why seeing a road can make me feel just so happy and excited, but it, it, I can't even describe it. I have got a tear, but it's because it's windy. Or is it because the road's so beautiful? <gasps> Look. I just can't even get over how beautiful that is. I promise it's not a tear, it's just from the wind. So if you don't know, uh, Sacklover is about 10k and to get to it you have to do a fair bit of climbing and you descend it down to the port and then you ride back up it. God, it's so quiet and I think the last few times I've been there's so many coaches and stuff on it because there's trips down but there's hardly any cars so it's going to be really, really beautiful to, to ride it today. And I've not really filmed that much today because I, I want just to have like, it's my last day here and I just want to do a solo ride and I just wanted to enjoy it. Not that I don't enjoy filming, but I just didn't want to think about it. I just wanted to be able to just to like look at the scenery, not think about it, but I couldn't come here because I've been saving it for my last day. Although it's probably not a good idea because my legs are a little bit cooked. So yeah, I'm gonna head down now and I'll see you at the bottom. It was so cold descending that. I'm just trying to warm up in the sun now before I have a little spin up there. It's quite noisy, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's just so nice at the bottom. I can say it looks warm. It's actually, my hands are frozen, although I have just had a can of Coke. Although a can of Coke, I had a can of Coke and literally that much of a piece of piece of bread. It was four euros, four euros. It's definitely not a co-op. Right, I'm gonna, got my headphones. I'm gonna put music on and then just have a ride up, although my legs are not. They're a little bit, a little bit fatigued, shall we say. I've done a fair bit this week. See you at the top. I feel a bit sweaty. Oh, we get in the shade. Oh. My legs were tired, but I love those efforts. It's like, in fact, why am I stood this way? The view is that way. Look at that. Oh. I think I'll leave the helmet on. That looks awful. A little scarecrow out in uh, Mallorca. Do you know what I think it is? I think it's um. Hey. Thank you. Hiya. Thank you. Oh, that guy at the back was like Yorkshire cyclocross and we kept, we, we kind of like leapfrogged a few times and I just went ahead and they were just like, thanks for pulling us up. That was nice. But I think the thing is with like coming out on my own, like having like days, even big solo days, doing efforts, it's all about like getting lost. Do you know, like just getting lost in your own head and not thinking of anything else apart from either like turning the pedals like on a on a ride or like pushing as hard as you can on a climb like it's really meditative for me and oh, I think I uh, I just recommend it to anybody I, I just love I think you've got the gist from this trip but I just love it I mean there's so so much going on 
in the world right now really just awful awful things and it just makes me even more grateful to be able to be able to have the privilege to be able to come and ride freely and be able to just do what I want to do and I think we should all be like count our blessings that if you're able to get out on your bike today or go on the turbo that we should be super grateful so I definitely am and I just love it I'm just I think you can tell I've absolutely loved this trip so I'm gonna head I'm gonna stop waffling get my jacket on because it's gonna be a chilly descent and just head onto these roads I was saying it's really quiet there's no cars and then they just came but yeah it is stunning I just thought I would stop at this uh, lookout again because it is just so beautiful just uh, show you my bike again because like you know this is like my favorite 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 bike for basically long days climbs the lot and I know a lot of people are going to disagree but this is like the perfect place I think for in brakes it's dry the roads are really smooth and I just love it it's just like the perfect climbing bike so yeah that's the endurance well rubble endurance SL and I love it well, I've only got about 30k and then that's it for me Yorker for me not forever I'm whispering because there's loads of people here and I feel shy now, this is Mark, question for you this right? is a weird question Whenever you're like stood up high somewhere, like if you're on a bridge, do you ever think what would happen if I just, I mean, nothing would happen, but maybe I'll just launch my GoPro off it or my phone. Do you ever think that? Maybe it's just me. I just think, what would I do? I'm not going to do it. Anyway, that's my weird thought for the day when I head on the descent. Good morning. I didn't film the end of the video yesterday. I got back, had my food, and packed my bike up because I'm now at the airport on my way home. I don't want to go home. Um, but yeah, I just feel like this trip is, I just feel so much like, I guess, refreshed. Can you hear me? It's airplane too. Um, as you were probably expecting at an airport. I just feel really refreshed and like really excited just to get out and just do loads more rides and adventures this year. And if you've not been to Mallorca, I would 100% recommend you come because it is literally like, like Disneyland for cyclists. It's just so, so good. Yesterday on the, um, when I was descending back down, I had like a little tear. It was almost like, so I was just like breathing it all in, like looking at, this is the thing, it's just rocks and climbs and I just love big rocks and climbs. It's just it's perfect. But yeah, I had like a little tear um, just because I've just had such a good time and I think like yeah yeah I've just had the best time and I just love it here so much I've just got so many lovely memories and I just can't wait to come back already I'm not even left I'm just like I can't wait to come back here so yeah a little happy sad tear as I descended through the mountains all right I'm gonna uh, get in get my bike checked in and thank you so much for watching the videos hope you've enjoyed them and I will catch up with you next video how pretty is this though? Actually, you can't even see it. You just see my mug. Hang on. Oh, you've seen it. You've seen it. Right. Oh, what's happened there? Look at the exposure on my face. I look like the moon.